Hi guys, Jake here, uh, bringing you another um, <laughs> HD game review. I know I haven't done one in a while, uh, I've just been quite busy lately, but I thought I'd bring it back with uh, Destiny 2. So let's start. So, um, as you know, I've done a, a game review for the original Destiny in uh, 2014. And uh, yeah, uh, this game is, all in all, a big improvement in my opinion. Um, I really enjoyed the first one, don't get me wrong, um, but I never played any of the expansions or the uh, added uh, story content like the um, like the 40 pan expansions, I, I can't remember the names of them. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the base game, um, I did think it was a bit limited though in the end. Uh, but yeah, um, this game it um, sort of builds upon what you know the first game basically had just added more content more weapons all of this stuff so without further ado i'm going to jump into my pros right so my first pro is uh obviously the story um so in destiny one there wasn't to my memory uh any cutscenes or proper story development i think they're all shoved behind those uh i think they're called glimmer cards um, but yeah, this one there's, well, straight out of the gate, there's, uh, cutscenes, really cool ones as well. Um, and yeah, it, there's, there is some character development in there with some characters. Uh, I should also probably say I haven't actually finished the game yet. I'm probably about four, five, yeah, about five hours in at the moment. Um, but yeah, I can already tell that... The Bungie have um, focused a lot more on the story, which is good to see. Um, and yeah, I, I I think it definitely makes for a much more immersive experience rather than go here, wait in a loading screen, shoot these things, get told you done well, and then have to look through cards, which I even think you had to go on their website to actually fully unlock, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, this time they, there, there is still some secrets, which is good, but um, it's more out there, so you can follow it a bit easier. Next um, is a variety of weapons. Uh, in Destiny 1 there was, oh, I don't know, maybe like three or four weapons for each, um, so... Uh, each of your three, uh, I suppose, like weapon slots. Um, it is like a, uh, a uh, like an uh, assault rifle, shotgun, sniper rifle, shot um, rocket launch. Sorry, um, it was just the same thing with different stats. Um, this time, it's a similar thing, but there's definitely more weapons there than there there was in the original game. Um, the guns feel, in a way, a bit more real, um, and what I mean by that is. They sound they sound like proper guns rather than space guns. Now, I, I like space guns as well, but um, it's cool to have a bit of like a a, a balance in a way. Um, also, I I'm not because uh, I didn't really follow up much on the lore of the first game because they're stuck behind cards and whatnot. Um, but I when playing Destiny 2, I actually found uh, I think it was a T70 tank. Um, and I was just thinking, is this actually set in a world where, <laughs> um, you know, basically our world, but then the traveller turned up and changed it all? Because I couldn't really follow the story originally in the in the first game, because I didn't feel there was that much to tell at face value. Um, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, next is the uh, new subclasses. So, um, originally when Destiny 1 originally released, uh, there were three classes, it was Warlock, Titan, and something else, <laughs> and um, they each had one ability each. Um, this, uh, later on with the expansions, uh, like Taken King and everything, they uh, did add uh, a couple more subclasses, which is cool, so you had like the, the Lightning, like the Emperor. Um, subclass which is cool um, but this, this time it seems they've sort of gone all out with it so each of the three classes actually has three subclasses um, you start off with uh, a new subclass when you start the game and um, uh, I've just done a mission, no spoilers uh, where um, I've actually been able to 
uh, restore my previous ability from the first game. So just basically your default um, class ability, basically. Um, and as I was playing Warlock, it's like um, a purple orb that destroys everything. Um, but yeah, I was able to uh, reclaim that, which was cool because um, I think it's really cool ability. Um, and yeah, it, you know, uh, they still got like the lightning one. There's like a shield now. I think they still have the the damage uh, pistol. Uh, I think the Titan had. I'm not sure. Um, I only ever played Warlock like I am now. Uh, but yeah, um, there you go. Uh, and lastly, for my pros, uh, it would be the actual locations. Um, the open world aspect of this game is greatly improved from the first game. Um, there seems to be a lot more to do in the world, even though a lot of the side missions are your typical patrol missions, like in the first game. They, ju they just seem to be a bit more in depth, and you get to um, actually... It, you, you can I, I can almost be bothered to explore the world and look for secrets and stuff as opposed to the first game where it's sort of I would just go here for missions because I find the world quite boring. Right, moving on to my cons. Um, the first one will be uh, graphics. Um, I do think the game looks really nice. Um, I didn't expect much of a change from the first Destiny. But being that the first one came out three years ago and it's now 2017, I would have liked to see a bit of a graphic improvement because at the moment I don't actually see one. Um, and being more specific with graphics, um, it's more textures. Now I know this game's meant to be quite fast, uh, fast paced and everything, so you're like throwing grenades about, shooting stuff with explosives and all that, so you're more you know, concerned about that. But um, when there are some really nice textures but there are also some really nasty looking ones and just personally I'm, I'm you know game development uh, you know is not easy you know I've never done it but I know it's not easy but um, it would have been nice to have a bit more detail in, in the, uh, the graphical area but yeah next we have the uh, console frame rate capped at 30 FPS now, uh, the footage you're watching now was captured on a PS4 Pro, and being an, uh, I suppose, a slightly upgraded version of the original PS4, it would be nice if the graphics, uh, sorry, the uh, frame rate could be, well, 60, you know, that, that 60 FPS should be the base for any game that comes out from now on. Um, it's quite uh, disappointing to say the least really um, that it is 30 FPS on console I know when it comes out on PC in a month uh, it is going to be 60 FPS which is cool I may have to uh, get it on PC as well and test it out and whatnot. Um, but yeah it is a bit of a shame especially on a PS4 Pro as well I know it wasn't uh, a huge upgrade anyway I just bought one because I well, I just saved loads of money on Destiny 2, and my uh, PS4 I have had since basically the beginning, um, and it is chugging quite a bit now. Uh, so yeah, um, that was basically my main reason for getting it. Um, I was actually going to wait for it on PC, but I thought there's been nothing out this year, and I'm so bored of games because there's been nothing out. So I was like, I've I've just got to get it. And lastly, it's um, something that sort of carried over from the first Destiny, uh, going back to locations um, there's a lot of backtracking, not as much but when you get to a new area in an open world setting on a new world, uh, you go for it once and you're like, oh this is really cool but instead of varying it up in missions where you go to different parts of the map, you constantly find yourself going back and forth through that same location mission after mission and I just find it gets a bit tiresome and a bit boring looking at the same scenery because then you also immediately learn where all the spawns are <laughs> and then you're just running around throwing grenades around the corner blowing everything up you're like oh you know whatever um but yeah uh, all in all there you know it's, it's a good game i'm definitely enjoying it so far and i like the new uh so i don't think it's new it's just i, I like the mini bosses 
So usually at the end of each mission you'll either have like a mini boss or a main boss and though just because of the way I play games generally um, I like to take my time and just find stuff as I go and do side missions here and there um, I find myself a bit over leveled in terms of power um, when I get into these missions so <laughs> one of these mini bosses will come I'll shoot a couple of bullets in him and then I'll just uh, pop my damage boost and aura get a rocket launcher out one shot kill him um, but it's, it's still a fun game. The uh, gameplay is fun. I haven't actually played it with friends yet. I've actually been playing it solo, yet I've still been having a lot of fun with it. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, I do think it's a solid game. Um, I look forward to continue playing the game and completing it, and then uh, moving on to the expansions when they do release at some point. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think that about wraps up this review. Um, would tell me what you think of the game? Why not? Um, yeah, uh, I'll see you in hopefully a, another game review. I, I like I said, uh, I think I said at the beginning of this video, I really do enjoy doing these videos. It's um, just I don't have a lot of time nowadays um, to do sort of. Uh, I suppose like my montage and my reviews, stuff that takes a lot more editing. The reason you've been seeing a lot of uh, walkthroughs like Batman Arkham Knight at the moment is just because uh, I can record it all, chop it up in a bit, render it and upload. There's not, um, especially with a game like uh, Arkham Knight where I rarely die in it, I don't really need to cut all the deaths out because there's like no deaths to cut out, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let us know if there's a game you want me to review, um, and I can have a look at checking it out. But yeah, I know the last uh, review I did was I, th I think it was January last year. So it's almost been t uh, two years now, almost, and a few months. But yeah, uh, sorry about that. And I'll uh, try to do a bit more frequently. But yeah, apart from that, um, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.